Well, let's come back to Johannesburg and Multi-Choice and Supersport say they haven't detected any racism between Ashwin Velemse and his colleagues. ENCA's Shahid Joseph joins me now and has been tracking the, that particular story. Shahid, so we saw a statement coming out uh, from Supersport yesterday. We had expected a whole briefing with all the various players. It didn't turn out that way, yes. but the, the CEO and the leadership did address and issued a statement. What have they been saying? Well, they said that the three gentlemen met each other at this meeting, at this hearing that they had yesterday. That would be Nick Mallet, Nas Borta, and Ashwin Valamsa. And the two CEOs said they shook hands, they spoke to each other, they were quite friendly with each other, and they see no reason why the three of them cannot work together this coming weekend. As we know, there's Super Rugby happening this weekend, and they are the top analysts. I mean, people tune in just to watch them. So... No decision was made, no suspensions have been made, no one has been fired. So we will see them again this weekend. Tell us a bit about Ashwin Velemse because much of the focus has been on him. I mean, he, he was clearly wanting to communicate uh, and bring to light something that he experienced in a particular way um, that has now triggered a whole discussion and a whole conversation uh, across the country about uh, manifestations of subtle racism and um, the whole issues around the politics of rugby. Yeah, uh, look, um, when he was playing, this is in the early 2000s, he was labeled a quota player, and that's one of the things he brought up when he, before he walked off, off set. Now, Ashwin was, two th in 2003, was part of the World Cup squad. He won the Players' Player of the Year. He won the Player of the Year. So he was an outstanding winger for the Springboks and the Lions as well. And then in 2007, he won the World Cup. But all of this was done under the label or the rules that SA Rugby implemented of being a quota player. Now, the next quota for 2019 is that 50% of the Springbok team have to be black players. And it seems that that hit a nerve with, with Ashwin over the weekend. Something must have been said to him where he, he responded, I was labeled a quota player. And he always had to fight against that and prove that he is in the start in 15 or part of the team because of his ability and not because of the color of his skin. And uh, interestingly, I was hearing one commentator yesterday using those exact words, quota player, and I thought, you know, it's 2018 already. But Shahid, just as a final question, this is a bit of a difficult one. The issue of racism in rugby, mm -hmm. uh, is it still alive in 2018? How alive is it actually? Three weeks ago, I reported on the Ruedeport and Wanderers racism story where the k-word was apparently thrown around now get this this wasn't grown men this is under 20 rugby and Rodeport are allegedly their their players have allegedly used that word and they also allegedly assaulted the wondrous players that case is coming forward at the lions rugby union they oversee club rugby in in Gauteng. so that case is happening tomorrow night there's a dc or something happening so racism is very much alive in, in rugby circles, in club rugby. And I mean, for 18, 19 year olds to be using the K word, to be fighting amongst each other in this, in this 2018, I mean, I, I don't think 10 years ago we thought that this would still be happening, but it is. So uh, yeah, we have to deal with this matter, sure. with a matter of quotas and with a matter of respect for each other, irrespective of color of the skin, it should just be based on the ability to play the game and the love for the game, of course. Mm. The complexities of society spilling over even uh, onto the playground. Thank Indeed. you so much. That is ENCA's Shahid Joseph uh, with an update on that particular story.